Welcome to the Japan Report. I am Meshida, and he is a comedian and researcher of Japan's constitution, Broken C3PO-san. Hello, everyone. I am a Broken C3PO. Nice to meet you. What the hell? No, I'm Ken Suzuki, Meshida-san. My pronunciation is better than your Japanglish. Your pronunciation is way better than my Japanglish. You are the master of Japanglish. Meshida-san, shut the fuck up. Let's ask Lai-chan, which of us is better at English? Please don't let anyone know that I teach either of you. White bitch. Today's theme is this. In Japan's constitution, Article 9 is called the Peace Constitution. It consists of two sections. Section 1. Aspiring sincerely to an international peace based on justice and order. The Japanese people forever renounce war as a sovereign right of the nation and the threat or use of force as means of settling international disputes. Section 2. In order to accomplish the aim of the preceding paragraph, land, sea, and air forces, as well as other war potential, will never be maintained. The right of belligerency of the state will not be recognized. But as you already know, now we have a self-defense force. There are many arguments about Article 9, so let's talk about it. In Japan, we passed the first modern constitution in East Asia, the Meiji Constitution in 1889. But after World War II, under American or GHQ occupation, Japan was forced to revise the constitution by America. So, why did they ask us to revise it? America needed Japan to renounce war. This was because on the battlefield, the Japanese army was strong and crazy. So, they were scared of our crazy fighting spirit or kamikaze spirit. So, they decided to demilitarized and weakened Japan so we could never threaten America again. Even nowadays, America's strategy is still working. We Japanese are weakened and have become the minions of America. But secretly, we Japanese have also successfully weakened America. Through exporting anime and games, we make young Americans weak like Japanese. GHQ General Commander Douglas MacArthur requested Japanese Prime Minister Kijuro Shidehara revise the Meiji Constitution. Then Japan proposed constitutional changes, but before they could file it, a Japanese newspaper, the Mainichi, got the scoop and published it. Then Douglas MacArthur read and rejected it, because it was made based on the Meiji Constitution. Not only coded telegrams during the war, but also proposed constitutional changes were intercepted and cracked. It's obvious, it was impossible to win the war. Instead, MacArthur ordered his subordinate, Courtney Whitney, Co Co Courtney Whitney, to make constitutional changes. MacArthur showed his subordinates three general principles he wanted in the new constitution. They were maintaining the emperor system, renouncing war, and abolishing the feudal system. So, based on these three principles, a new constitution was drafted. By the way, our current Japanese Prime Minister has a secret notebook that he calls Kishida Note. He showed it off in front of the media, but we don't know what is written in it. May we proceed with digital transformation? Anyway, it says that America or GHQ made the draft constitution in about a week. Is that true? Yes. Then the Japanese government made the final plan of the new constitution based on America's draft. 
You could say that our Japanese constitution was made quickly by America. Like McDonald's burgers, we have a fast food constitution. I see. American fast food is famous for pricing speed over quality and is known for being low quality. That's why our Japanese constitution has all the Japanese expressions or is grammatically incorrect. But why did they rush to make the draft constitution? The reason why GHQ made the constitution quickly was in 1945, the victorious countries decided to create the Far Eastern Commission and they would decide the Allied policies for the occupation of Japan. GHQ also had to follow their orders. Because of that, GHQ had to make a draft constitution before their first committee was held on 26th February 1946. Among the victorious countries, Some countries claimed that the Japanese emperor should be accused as a war criminal. It says that MacArthur decided to maintain the emperor system after meeting Emperor Hirohito. He reported to the White House if we accuse the emperor as a war criminal, it will cause turmoil and we would need to increase our army in Japan. He thought before the Far Eastern Commission, intervened in the occupation of Japan, GHQ should proceed with revising the constitution. MacArthur might have thought if they left it to Japanese politicians, they would have thousands of meetings and nothing would change. And while Japan was busy with discussing how to protect the emperor, the Far Eastern Committee might decide to prosecute him. But was it allowed for victorious countries to revise defeated countries' constitutions? Mr. Sam, history is made by the winners. Have you ever heard Abba's song? The winner takes it all, the loser stands is beside the victory. That's our destiny. Ken san, please don't say that's our destiny. You are the loser. So you'd say that's my destiny. <laughs> Mr. san, shut up. When we talk about Article 9 of the Constitution, the most important thing is the Ashida Amendment. In 1956, when the Japanese Constitutional Committee discussed the Constitution revision proposal, the chairman of the committee, Hitoshi Ashida, revised Article 9 and in Section 2 added the words in order to accomplish the aim of the preceding paragraph. As you already know, Section 1 renounces war as a sovereign right of the nation and the threat or use of force as a means of settling international disputes. By adding, in order to accomplish the aim of the preceding paragraph at the beginning of Section 2, it can be interrupted that we can't have military power for. Invading or settling international disputes. But we can have military power for self defense. Hitoshi Ashida said in his book, There are premises in international law that all countries have the right to self defense. So, by putting this one sentence in the Article 9, it made it obvious that we can use military power to defense ourselves. Even though the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself, Christian people divided into branches and fought with each other to protect their beliefs. Although we have dictatorial neighboring countries that aim to get Japan's territory, imagine if we didn't have any military power, if we just believed in peace and said, love your neighbor as yourself, what would Happen. They would pretend to love you and then violate you. 
They don't even love their own civilians. How can they love their neighbors? Our constitution was enforced in 1947, and surprisingly, we have never changed it in more than 70 years. Of course, respecting the constitution is important, but other countries have changed their constitutions depending on their situation. From after World War II to 2019, America has changed their constitution six times. India, 103 times. India changed it more than 100 times. You could say that India drafted a new constitution. Mr. San, do you know India's catchphrase? I don't know. Incredible India. They cannot believe themselves. But I'm surprised that Japan has never changed our constitution. But the people who are surprised the most must be the Americans who made this constitution. It's like in IT. A temporary fix always becomes a permanent solution. Their reaction must be the same as people who come to your comedy show. <laughs> Archaeologists must love your shows. Wow, I think I saw a joke from the 1980s. In 1950, the Korean War occurred and the American soldiers who stayed in Japan had to go to Korea and join the war. There were no self-defense soldiers in Japan. So, GHQ ordered the Japanese government to make a national police reserve. After that, it changed into the national safety forces and it became the self-defense forces in 1954. You could say America demilitarized the Japanese army and then revived it. Our army is like Jesus. It came back to life to protect us. But our Article 9 stated that land, sea, and air forces, as well as other potential war horses, will never be maintained. Our self-defense force is made by the US, so the size is much bigger than expected. Many Japanese constitutional scholars say having a self-defense force is unconstitutional, but the Japanese government believes that the preamble of the constitution confirms the right to live in peace and article 13 declares the right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. So if we are attacked by a foreign country, we have to protect our citizens' right to safety that were guaranteed in preamble and article 13 of the constitution. So we are permitted to carry out minimum military operations for self-defense. I see. The Japanese constitution isn't understood or reread. It's like Japanese people. You have to interpret what the Japanese people mean, not just what they say. The Japanese constitution is like a Japanese husband. They believe that, even though they don't say I love you, their wife fears it because they can understand the meaning behind the words. Unfortunately, most of the time, the same as Japanese wives, constitutional scholars can't read the meaning behind Article 9. Self-defense forces exist to defend our country, but our self-defense forces have a big problem. There is no special law that says in an emergency situation, they don't have to follow the road traffic laws. So in an emergency situation, our self-defense forces have to obey the road rules. Really? Even if a foreign country attacked us, they would have to follow the road rules? Yes, there is a big risk that while they are waiting at a red light, we might be invaded and our tanks 
have turn signals. So they have to signal when they turn. And it's easier for the enemy to hit them worse. Our self-defense is regulated to use minimum military power. So they have to defend our country from foreign attackers with maximum military weapons using minimum military power. This is like if a thief sneaks into your house with a dangerous weapons and you have to fight back using a cutting board. We will probably not have the chance to defend our country using military power because Japan is well known as a spy heaven. So our country is already full of spies. Before, we need to fight for our houses. Our houses will already be secretly bought by spies. Among peace activists, Article 9 is called the only peace constitution in the world. Some activists have recommended Article 9 for a Nobel Peace Prize. Many constitutional scholars also praised Article 9 as the only peace constitution in the world. But it said that Section 1 of Article 9 was drafted based on the Treaty for the Renunciation of War and Charter of the United Nations. If you compare it to those international laws, it's obvious. Constitutional scholars who gave an A plus grade to Article 9 as the only peace constitution in the world didn't realize that. Americans copy and pasted it. Japanese university students should study Article 9 to learn how to plagiarize properly. Many peace activists say that the reason why since World War II, Japan has been peaceful and our economy has grown is because of our peace constitution. I agree to some point, but to be honest, the reason why we have had this time of peace is not Article 9. It is the Japan-US Security Treaty and our self-defense forces. We have an alliance with America. That's why other countries never attacked Japan. And we rely on America to protect our country. While we focus on growing our economy, of course, we have to pay for the US forces, but it's cheaper than protecting our country by ourselves. Peace activists are so arrogant. They say we shouldn't change our peace constitution or have our own army and should get rid of the US military. To be honest, they are not peace activists. They might be undercover communist spies. Wow, you are so brave, Kensan. Many peace activists will send you DMs. Listen, peace activists, I just read the script, he wrote it. Listen, peace activists, I just read the script. Lai Chan wrote it. Meishita-san, don't lie. Lai Chan is a white woman. She never studied history. If we only believed in our peace constitution and didn't have an alliance with the US or self-defense forces, Japan would be North Soviet Japan and South China, Japan. Do they seriously believe that in an emergency situation, the United Nations would help us? Look at the world news now. It's obvious that the United Nations can't do anything. Shisuri Biyo-san, what do you think about the United Nations? They are very Japanese. They excel at Tatemae. What the hell? I'm Ken Suzuki. Japan has been safe because we became the 51st state of America. Thank you very much for watching this show. And thank you very much for coming today, Broken C3PO-san.
Thank you very much, everyone. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. The winner takes it all. The loser stands more. Beside the victory, that's our destiny.